Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Mountain, bringing you all things design. This week we're announcing the competition winner. Massive thanks to everyone that made the effort to take part and, and have a go. It was great to see um, you know people from all sorts of backgrounds uh, giving it a go, um, and that uh, really did make me smile. So um, the winner was Yaswanth Rudafu with a successful time of 7 minutes 42. It's a solid time and it's a solid modelling effort. Um, it was really interesting. He did it completely differently um, to how I modelled the part. And that's the beauty of um, SolidWorks. So um, let's jump in and take a look. He's going to introduce himself and uh, I'm going to give you some commentary. If you've got any questions, drop us a comment and uh, I'll try and help. Hello YouTube. I am Yashwant from India. Currently, I am doing masters in DFM at Usmania University. When I was a child, I loved putting things together and making things and tinkering with them. And I always just knew how things went together. And it always boring for me to sit in a classroom and not be able to make anything. I was most at home when I made something and built things and designed the things. And that's what led me to becoming an engineering student. I have been using SOLIDWORKS since 4 years and I am a certified SOLIDWORKS expert and it is a very proud to me to becoming a certified SOLIDWORKS expert in my academic stage itself. I want to make my career in mechanical design field and want to become a successful mechanical design engineer. Alright guys, so this is Yashram's successful uh, attempt at the modeling challenge. So he's coming on the top plane, um, he's drawn two circles uh, and one's going to be the circle with the outer diameter of the plate and I guess the other one's going to be the inner circle. Two lines with the angle that's going to form one of the grip sections I imagine, dimensioning them up. These extrude in. He's going up. And he, it's nice he's used contours there. If you guys don't know, you can have uh, intersecting sketch elements that you can pick contours from. Plan on making a video on that at a later date. And he's picked um, Yasrant's using shortcuts, good use of shortcuts. Uh, I mean, he's uh, he's got his. Um, CSWE, so he's, uh, he's clearly a proficient user in the uh, CAD package. And it's interesting, um, Yashram's method here is uh, really interesting, completely different to how I actually went about um, modeling it myself. So um, yeah, it's nice to see you know how many different variations there are about doing the same thing. And uh, he's just cut through there. So this is forming the handle cut section. He's done a straight cut there, and I'm assuming he's going to draft it now. Yeah, he's going in drafting. I think on my model I applied the draft in the cut, but that's just you know that's down to personal preference really. So he selected the neutral plane and he's going, um, selecting the part in line to apply the draft. So yeah, nice. It's looking good. Um, and he's going back normal too. And he's going to draw some arcs here. And what are these bits going to be for? I guess these are going to be for the pockets. Um, where there's like recess of material. So just coming in and dimensioning them up. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> and uh yeah, he's just um, just finishing this sketch element off. Uh, 
So he's going to extrude cutter. It's gone to thin feet. He's going to set the contour, but it's gone thin feature. So we'll untick that. And uh, he's giving it 12 mil. So yeah, he's noticed here. So there's something's wrong because it's gone all the way through. There should be. Um, it doesn't go all the way through on the drawing. I can't remember what it is. I think it's six mil, is it? Was well, 12 mil because it's not sure off the top of my head but we'll have a look so there's something not right there so yes right, I'm just gonna he's troubleshooting it ah it's the thickness he's gone to extrude 10 mil he's gone 20 oh and he's got a rebuild so that's because ah the extrude cut maybe he should have uh, defined it as a through all end condition perhaps instead of he had it as blind um, but not to worry simply he's fixed that so we're back to square one so uh, that's looking better now and he's sketching on here and is he going to do the slope section yeah so i guess he's setting up the sketch now to do a revolve cut um so we're just going to define that about the central axis and then that's what he'll revolve it around so yasram's displaying here you know he's clearly a competent user um, Good use of shortcuts, good use, he's fully defining the sketches, um, and he's methodically going about the part. I think he's going to aim to make the body and then perhaps mirror it in segments or pattern it. Um, it's a good way of doing it. Now he's coming in fillet. Fillets are interesting. Um, I, had, I actually had the conversation with another guy who was trying to do the model and Fillet order has a massive can have a massive impact on the over the geometry outcome of a part. Um, so yes, what I'm doing here. Interestingly, he hasn't applied. He could apply a fillet here to this tan um, to this face, and then it would allow the fillet to pull the um, select the tangency of the loop. Um, but he's got problem there's some something not right there ah, okay it's because but um Yasranth realizes he hasn't applied the draft yet so he's gonna back it out of this and go um to apply the draft in a minute you don't want to um you don't want to fill it before you've drafted because you, you won't be able to apply the draft to the filleted faces. So he's coming back in now and he's adding the draft and that should resolve the fillet uh, issue he was having then. But yeah, um, so going back to the, um, the order that you put the fillets in does have it can have an impact on the geometry of the part so um, might have a look at that one day we'll do a video on that perhaps if some of you are interested because um, it is quite interesting um, so yeah methodically he's working his way he's getting there and I think he's pretty much done and he's gonna mirror the part now circular pattern yeah use the body the body mirror tool uh, feature is super powerful it's a lot more robust than the uh, pattern feature than the mirror um, feature option sorry and then he's just going to mirror it about that nice so that is a solid effort from Yashramp um, congratulations again that's, that's a really good way of modeling the part hope you guys all found it um, interesting and um, we've all learned something he's applying the material and uh, he's gonna go to evaluate and we'll um, there we go look he's got the mass of the part is with intolerance that's a great effort nice one top effort yeah swamp that's it for this week guys um it's really interesting watching other people model i enjoyed watching the entries um and you can learn a lot through other people's models or even just going through feature trees and stuff like that um if you've got any questions drop us a comment and i'll try and help as always 
let me know you know perhaps there's some of you out there that maybe had a go um might have struggled with it or just didn't feel comfortable entering that's fine let me know you know drop us a comment what did you think did you find it hard um would you maybe like something a bit simpler i'd love to know your feedback um and if you found it helpful or enjoyable please don't forget to like um and subscribe and as always guys we'll see you next week thanks bye